Today, we will explore one of history's most fascinating civilizations, the Roman Empire. How did Rome transform from a small village to a vast empire encompassing the entire Mediterranean? What were the key moments in the rise, peak, and fall of the empire? And how does the legacy of Rome continue to live in our world today? As we seek answers to these questions, we will dive deep into the mysterious history of the Roman Empire. The foundation of Rome begins in 753 BC with the legendary story of Romulus and Remus. It is said that these twin brothers were abandoned on the banks of the Tiber River and raised by a she-wolf. Romulus becomes the first king of Rome and lays the foundations of the city. Indeed, the early history of Rome is shaped by the reign of kings, but a new era begins in 509 BC with the establishment of the Roman Republic. The establishment of the Republic marks a revolutionary change in Rome's system of governance. The struggle between the aristocrats, patricians, and the common people, plebeians, becomes a central theme in the early history of the Republic. While the plebeians fought for more influence in politics, a series of reforms were made during this period. Significant advancements in the rule of law and access to public offices shaped the social and political structure of Rome. Rome's rise is largely based on its military successes. Possessing excellent military organization and discipline, Rome begins by conquering the Italian peninsula. Later, during the Punic Wars, Rome achieves victories against its greatest rival in the Mediterranean, Carthage. These victories grant Rome dominance over the Mediterranean and lay the foundations of the empire. Roman law develops during the Republic period and becomes one of Rome's most enduring legacies. The Twelve Tables established the foundation of Roman law and represent an important step in the codification of laws. Additionally, the establishment of the Senate and the election of consuls, among other administrative structures, shape Rome's system of governance. The Republic period is also a time when Roman culture and society are shaped. Influenced by Greek culture, Rome makes significant advancements in literature, art, architecture and philosophy. Moreover, the diversity of gods and rituals in Roman religion reflects the complex structure of society. The imperial period of the Roman Empire encompasses the rise, peak and wealth of one of history's largest and longest lasting empires. Augustus, the nephew and adopted son of Julius Caesar, goes down in history as Rome's first emperor. In 27 BC, he was honored by the Senate with the title of Augustus. The Augustan era is a period marked by stability and peace following civil wars and significant advancements in art and architecture. Augustus's rule establishes a centralized structure, transforming Rome into an empire that would expand across a broader geography. The period following Augustus's reign is known as the Pax Romana, or Roman peace, lasting about 200 years. This era witnesses the greatest expansion and wealth of the Roman Empire. Economic stability, the security of trade routes, and the supremacy of law ensure prosperity throughout the empire. The imperial period is ruled under the reign of many different emperors. Emperors like Trajan, Hadrian, Marcus Aurelius, and Septimius Severus expand Rome's boundaries and strengthen its administrative structures increasing the empire's power and stability. However, this period also witnesses the rule of tyrannical emperors like Nero and Caligula, indicating a time of internal strife and scandals for Rome. The imperial era is also seen as the golden age of Roman culture. Latin literature is enriched by the works of poets such as Virgil, Horace, and Ovid. Significant progress is made in architecture and engineering, Structures like the Colosseum, Pantheon, and Roman Forum are built during this period. Rome is also famous for its infrastructure projects such as roads, bridges, and aqueducts, which connect every corner of the empire and promote trade. 
During the imperial period, Christianity begins to occupy a significant place in the Roman Empire. Initially, persecuted Christians gain the right to worship freely with Emperor Constantine's Edict of Milan in AD 313. Later, under the reign of Theodosius I, Christianity becomes the official religion of the state. The Roman Empire faced increasing pressures from the 3rd century AD onwards. Raids by Germanic tribes from the north and threats from the Sasanian Empire in the east strained Rome's military resources. At the same time, defending the empire's vast and complex borders became increasingly difficult. Economic difficulties represent another significant aspect of the fall period. Excessive taxation, devaluation of currency, and a decrease in trade destabilized the economic stability. Economic hardships led to social turmoil and a decrease in population. Agricultural production, heavily reliant on the labor of slaves, diminished and urban populations declined. The Roman army, once one of the empire's strongest aspects, showed serious weaknesses during the fall period. Dependence on foreign mercenaries reduced the army's loyalty and effectiveness. Additionally, the division of the empire into east and west in the fourth century increased administrative difficulties and internal strife. This division weakened the defense of the Western Roman Empire and hastened its fall. While the Western Roman Empire collapsed, the Eastern Roman Byzantine Empire endured for a longer period. Based in Constantinople, modern Istanbul, the Eastern Roman stood until 1453 when it was conquered by the Ottoman Empire. This indicates that Rome's legacy continued culturally and politically through Byzantium. Numerous theories have been proposed on the fall of the Roman Empire, including economic collapse, military weaknesses, political corruption, and even climate change. However, most historians agree that the fall cannot be attributed to a single cause. Instead, it was a combination of internal and external factors that led to the empire's end. With the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the ancient age ended and the doors to the Middle Ages were opened. Let's now take a look at the advanced technologies and lost inventions of the Roman Empire. One of the most important inventions of Rome is ancient Roman concrete, which is more durable than modern concrete. This concrete could harden under seawater and became even stronger over time. Modern scientists have attempted to unlock the secret of Roman concrete and discovered that this ancient mixture contained volcanic ash. This finding is used in modern engineering to develop sustainable and durable building materials. The advanced water clocks designed by Vitruvius were used to measure the flow rate of water and are among the most complex time measuring devices that have survived to our day. These devices had the capability to adjust the flow rate of water for different time periods, thus providing highly accurate time measurement in the ancient world. This device, invented by Hero in the first century AD, is known as the world's first steam engine. This simple yet impressive device demonstrated the transformation of steam into kinetic energy, propelling a sphere by steam power. However, the potential of this technology was not fully understood in ancient times, and it was not used in industrial applications. Although ancient Rome was greatly influenced by Greek thought in the fields of science and philosophy, it left a significant legacy with its own contributions and original thinkers. Pliny the Elder's Natural History is an important source where scientific knowledge was collected and classified. This work contains information on various fields such as botany, zoology, mineralogy and geography reflecting Rome's interest in the natural world. Stoicism became a dominant movement in Roman philosophy and was adopted by thinkers such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus. These philosophers focused on personal virtue, the importance of reasoning and emotional self-control. The Roman Empire, beyond being one of history's greatest civilizations, is the source of a legacy that has deep and lasting effects on the modern world. This legacy extends from legal and administrative systems to architectural and engineering achievements, 
from language and literature to cultural and social structures. Rome's legacy is considered a cornerstone of Western civilization and shapes many aspects of the modern world. Roman law forms the foundation of modern legal systems. The legal principles of Rome emphasize the importance of logic and reason in the application of justice. These principles of Roman law can be seen today in the legal systems of many countries in Europe and America. Additionally, administrative structures like the Senate and the concept of a republic have been influential in the development of democratic ideas. Latin, as the official language of the Roman Empire, is the root of the Romance languages. Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Romanian. Latin continues to be used in law, medicine, science, and the Catholic Church. Roman literature, with works like Virgil's Aeneid, has become one of the foundational stones of Western literature. Throughout this video journey, we have explored Rome's rise, period of wealth, fall, and the lasting legacy it left behind. The story of Rome is not just a part of history's dusty pages, but a living history that underpins modern societies. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.